A Baltimore woman faces murder charges tonight for killing her 22 month old son back in December and nearly getting away with it. WMER 2 News Jeff Hager has the details of the crime tonight. The young mother says she was hearing voices the night that she put her hand over her young toddler son's face until he couldn't breathe. It was just three days after Christmas last year when paramedics rushed to an apartment here in the 400 block of Asquith Street and discovered 22-month-old Caleb Shaw unresponsive. His mother told them she had left him laying on the bed while she took a shower, and when she returned, his lips were blue and he was cold to the touch. Based on the investigator's findings and the autopsy from the medical examiner, it was determined that, it was the, that the child died of natural causes. While investigators had their suspicions about some aspects of 22-year-old Shakira Shaw's story and the case remained open, it would take a startling confession before they could charge her with killing her own child. Later on, after being in a better place in her life, her conscience was bothering her and she really wanted to come clean and tell investigators what she had done. According to charging documents, Shaw told investigators she had aborted a child back in 2016 and she had had a miscarriage the month before Caleb's death. She claimed she heard the two unborn children's voices telling her to kill the toddler, and they became overwhelming on the day she actually committed the act. It wasn't until she returned to the room from taking her shower that she realized what she had done and dialed 911. Shaw now faces a series of charges, including first and second degree murder. Reporting from police headquarters in downtown Baltimore, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.